We are taking a journey from Whitechapel to Dalston Kingsland in East London. So let's start the show. It's our first time in Whitechapel and as you can see there's all these little market stalls and this is just outside the station. Now Whitechapel it's one of those places where previously uh, it was maybe a bit difficult to get to. You could use the district line, um, it was quite a long run out but with the Elizabeth line arriving it's opened up this entire area of London. So let's find out a little bit more about Whitechapel. Whitechapel in London's East End may not have been one of the most familiar areas in Charles Dickens' works, but in the mid-1800s it would most certainly have resembled Dickensian London. Back then it was a slum area with the highest levels of deprivation. In 1888 the serial killer Jack the Ripper murdered five women, all prostitutes, in Whitechapel. He was never identified. Visitors to the area can join the original Jack the Ripper tour, which is widely considered the best in London and is conducted by guides who have written books on the Whitechapel murders. Whitechapel today is a vibrant, multicultural district with many traditional pubs and curry houses, and the lively Whitechapel market a focal point for Asian food, discount fashion and homewares. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. What are you doing, Marcus? Oh, I'm subscribing to our show. It's so easy to do. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button. So please do subscribe. Well, we are ready to start the next bit of our journey and we are now taking the London Overground from Whitechapel to Haggerston, which is in the Dalston area. So, let's get on board. See you there.
is actually the same day. It's just one of those typical summer days <laughs> where you get sunshine and shower. So we have dispensed with the jackets, blue sky at last, and we are walking along Kingsland Road, having just got off at Hagerston. Now it's an area that we've been to before because it's a very popular um, gay area. Uh, yes. There are several gay bars along here and we've been to most of them before and we're going to try them out again today. So let's take a look. The Glory is located in Hagerston on Kingston Road. The, Go the Glory boasts as the leading queer venue and performance mecca. It's renowned for hosting drag nights. So what did you think of the glory then, Paul? I liked it so much. What about you? Well, it was the first time that we've been there since September 2017. I wow. checked because I looked at my phone because we did go once before. And yeah, it's a great place, I think, for a night out. And we're definitely going to come along there again with friends. Dalston is served by three overground stations, including Dalston Kingsland, Dalston Junction, and ha Hagerston. Busy Dalston is centered on Kingsland Road, home to vintage fashion stores, hip, hip cocktail bars, and basement clubs. Adelston has the best Turkish food in London with countless kebab houses knocking out fresh kebabs all night long. As Shore Dishes star began to fade in the late noughties, East London's hipsters moved up the road to Dalston, slowly making it the city's nightlife capital. For film fans, The Rio is the special place. There's been a cinema under various names on the site of the Art Deco Grade 2 listed Rio for over 100 years and it's remained independent right up to this day. The two screens show a varied program of new indie releases as well as regular double bills and classic matinees. Now our next port of call should be relatively easy to find. It's on the main road and it's called 512. So it's at number 512 Kingsland Road. Isn't that right Paul? Yes it is. And it's a new gay bar. It only opened during Pride Month in 2021. Wow. I know. Um, so de definitely was not here the last time that we were in this wow. area. So we're going to give it a, a little check out.
I don't know about you, Paul, but I really liked Village 512. Yes, it was very interesting too. Maybe a little bit on the pricey side, although we yes. did have uh, Craft Lager and Craft IPA from the E1 Brewing Company. Anyway, we are going to head off to our final stop now, the Dalston Superstore. Heading to our final destination now. The Dalston Superstore, and it reminds me. Every time what? I hear, no, every time I hear Superstore, uh -huh. it reminds me of a supermarket. Not a supermarket, no, but a children's TV show. <laughs> Saturday mornings, way oh, back wow. in the eighties. Saturday Superstore. Oh wow! We come Saturday Superstore. You get so much more done at the store. So we're going to visit the Dalston Superstore. And maybe I'll see Mike Reed and Sarah Green, who knows? Paul doesn't know what I'm talking about. No. is one of Dalston's newest spots and is brought to you by the team behind Dalston Superstore. The theme is New York style pizzas paired with great cocktails, which is a perfect choice if you ask me. The pizza comes in a variety of sizes and flavors including pizzas by the pizzas by the slice and the gigantic 22 inch ones which we had before uh, they also do takeaway pizzas and regular classic sizes voodoo race is a great place to meet up after work drinks lunch dinner or even before a night out clubbing or as a cheek as a cheeky hangover preventing a bite before bed there's also a great selection of alcoholic treats, including cocktails, a range of different craft beers and ales, and a small but perfectly assembled selection of premium spirits and mixers. Ooh, that sounds perfect. Let's go inside and take a look. Well, this has been an absolutely fabulous trip, and I can't believe it's been five years since we've been in Time this area. Time flies. Time sure. certainly does fly, and I don't think we'll be leaving it another five years until we come back again. So, from Dalston, Kingsland, from East London, it's bye for now. Bye bye. Bye.